from Moeller High School. You don't find kids like Michael Curran. Um, they're few and far between. To the University of Dayton. And he just seemed like really kind, selfless, humble person. Michael Curran's death broke hearts, and it still has people wanting answers. On the final day of summer, the 19-year-old was found laying in the middle of Wayne Avenue, 1.2 miles from his dorm room at UD. Dayton police said Curran fell from the bed of a pickup truck, and the driver never stopped to report what happened or render aid. Four days later, police said they identified the people in the truck and interviews were ongoing. In the nine weeks since Curran's death, police have been silent until now. Dayton police tell me the case hasn't gone cold. They say they're still actively investigating Curran's death, but are waiting on additional information. They wouldn't confirm what info, but we know some details from the coroner are still pending. Today, the Montgomery County coroner allowed me exclusive access to the preliminary autopsy report. Out of respect for the Curran family, we won't detail injuries, but Curran did suffer multiple injuries to the head, arms, lower back and legs. The cause of his death is still listed as pending. Manner of death, such as homicide, accident, undetermined, also still pending. The coroner won't rule on the cause or manner until toxicology results come back. They were not back as of this afternoon when I was there. And I also spoke with the prosecutor's office today in Montgomery County and a spokesman for the office says at this point, Dayton police have not requested their involvement, but that is not unusual because typically investigators want to make sure all of their I's are dotted and T's are crossed before they request the prosecutor. Reporting live tonight, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Okay.